excited to announce our 100th Shredder Drive. We have Joel Kolakowski here today to talk about how Quad Plus has made it to 100. Tell us about yourself and your role at Quad Plus, Joe. Thanks, Steve. I've started with Quad Plus in February of 2000. I'm currently the general manager of the large drive division. And uh, what we do is uh, take care of all the recycling and large single motor applications. I understand Quad has uh, gotten into the auto shredding industry really fairly recent. Uh, how did that happen? Yeah, so one of our salesmen, uh, ironically in 2006, uh, was looking for the Nucor plant in Darlington, uh, North Carolina, and he happened to stumble into a, a uh, scrapyard, and just through casual conversation, he came to understand that the scrapyard was looking for a 5,000 horsepower DC drive system. And he, they asked, could you supply something like that? And he said, yes, and the rest is history. So since then, it's been 100 machines. Unbelievable. I know Quad Plus provides DC systems. What about AC? Yes, we can do AC systems as well. We've got uh, partners in the uh, uh, AC motor industry that will build us a uh, one rotor induction motor to our specifications. Uh, we can also do scroll cage induction motors with uh, Siemens medium voltage perfect harmony drives. So over the years, uh, what type of research and development then has the large drives division at Quad Plus done? One of the first problems we started to notice in machines with in the recycling or industry was that um, the operation was very cyclic and difficult to uh, manage, meaning that the current spikes were very high and they were very frequent. What we learned quickly is that uh, standard I square T protection algorithms built into drives weren't able to integrate quickly enough to protect the motors. So we started noticing uh, anomalies in the commutators that led us to develop what we call now our advanced motor protection algorithm, which includes our DC motor thermal capacity where we can limit the amount of current in the armature while still maintaining maximum productivity and maximum reliability for the customers. We've also done things like uh, demand charge limiters where we can manage the demand charge that a customer or end user pays the utility. We've also developed our own brush arms uh, for a particular type of motor that we use commonly that helps reduce maintenance intervals, is more reliable, and is a, uh, a good uh, modern brush design. So out of the 100 shredder drives, what were some of the more memorable systems? Mm -hmm. Some of the, uh, probably my, my crown jewel is the, uh, the 10,000 horsepower shredder uh, that we have running out in California. Um, that was an 18 pulse uh, rectifier design. Uh, it was a very unique uh, design. The motor itself was a, uh, there's two of them built. Uh, our owner, John Prosetto, happened to know where one of them was, so we were able to, to get that motor, refurbish it, build a drive system, and, and get it in. And my favorite part about that is when I was commissioning that drive system, we had the utility on site with us because it was such a large demand for them. And I asked them, you know, how much current can I pull, you know? And uh, so I explained, you know, I could, I could pull several hundred amps at this uh, higher voltage level. And uh, their comment back to me was that that was more than the entire city. And if I were to uh, pull that many amps, I would probably brown out the city. So we had to back calculate what our actual ampacity could be. And that's what we set our current limits to so we didn't brown out the city. Wow, incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Tell me about this 100 shredder drive. Mm -hmm. So this 100 shredder drive came to us as what we're kind of seeing as a normal sales process anymore with a, uh, an end user that, uh, in, the, in, in this guy's case, he bought a used machine that included a long rotor induction motor. And as, as our distribution circuits in the United States today become more and more loaded, and we put more and more computer loads and high-tech loads on these systems, uh, utilities are much more strict about power quality. It's not like it was even five years ago where we could get away with a few more tricks. So this gentleman bought this 2,000 horsepower long rotor induction motor. Was, his intention was to install it on his machine. Uh, as we started the conversation with the utility, uh, it quickly became apparent that uh, they didn't have the infrastructure to support that size of a machine. 
So we changed the conversation to DC and were able to fit a DC system in there. Um, but it's, it's a typical classic case of how we help an end user install a shredder at a location that they want. So we develop a creative solution to kind of adapt to distribution conditions where we're not investing millions of dollars in infrastructure costs to install one of these shredders. Joel, congratulations to you and to Quad Plus Thank on this you. incredible accomplishment. Thank you, Steve.